All right, so let me adjust this a little bit. Um, just got package, Star Wars Destiny. Uh, as a store owner, we have to sign up for whatever's coming out. And this thing didn't, for Force Friday, they're like, you can't know. You can't know what it is. You just got to either order it and hope it's good. So I thought maybe that we would be screwed if it's something bad. I crossed my fingers, hoping it was Destiny, because I have such a huge Destiny community, and I love the guys. But then I'm worried again if it's going to be so um, low, uh, since I'm ordering a lower amount than I would like, because I don't know what the hell I'm buying. Uh, I would I screw them over? But luckily, last night, midnight, a lot of people had these at Target. Um, I think people were saying they seem at GameStop. They're only being released for Force Friday. People are going, no, I think they're going to be re-released again a certain way. I don't think they're going to keep it updated. That's not how Force Friday has worked. They could sit on the shelves and go and buy them, but all my buddies have went um, to Target and all that stuff. And they um, are saying they're getting cleared out pretty quick. And like when they leave, there's pretty much like only a little bit left. So basically, we got a little pamphlet. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. We get a huge, huge screen here of uh, damage tokens and stuff like that. Then we get, uh, I guess it's just a flyer for the Empire at War. Um, inside this little baggie they gave us. Because it's kind of coming like a, a board game. But also, and all the rules. Uh, I'm guessing there might be a way to play it without it. But, this is all that comes in it. This is it. So, you're going to have to have, you only get one of each character, or I'm sorry, each card in this. So, if you wanted to get a playset of something, or run a character elite, you are going to have to buy two. It's kind of a bummer. It's $30, but you get quite a bit from what I'm seeing. Um, I think on the cover might have said how many you get. 16 pre or 46 or 40 48 cards and 16 premium dice so pretty cool it's basically two starters in one but we're all very excited because we have new stuff that we didn't know we we're gonna get so let's go through this kylo ren after you activate this character you may choose a color blue red yellow or gray then reveal random card on an opponent's hand if that card matches the chosen color deal two damage to that character wow at least it doesn't uh, discard, um, so you get to put it right back in your hand. Pretty good stats. 14, 17, not bad, 12 health. Captain Phasma, this appeared on uh, the Facebook pages. Um, it Everyone thought it wasn't the real deal, but it is. Deal 2 damage to a character, or 3 damage instead if that character has 6 or more damage on it. That's the special... Uh, good point values, 9 and 13. I mean, that's really, really, really cool. Um, I like that. Uh, you can run it with Vader. Um, I don't know if you'd want to, but that's what you would do. Okay. Now we're going to look at some of the dice ones. Droid Commandos. Deal 1 damage each to any number of characters. That's pretty cool. This is solid, but it's, it's costly. It's 4. And then we got two, three, three costs, and then two discard, and then uh, the special. Captain Phasma's Blaster. So this is cool. We got a villain, uh, a, a red gun. Uh, three costs. While this upgrade is attached to Captain Phasma, it has a redeploy keyword. So that's interesting. So you can use it that way. Nothing too much special about it, but you got the one, two, three costs, plus three, and money. Praetorian Guard. Attached character has the Guardian keyword. That's cool. I like the card that has that. Uh, before you activate this card, you may remove a die showing damage until that damage to a character. So basically, this is kind of a hyper version of the uh, one that gives out Guardian from uh, Awakenings, except for this actually has uh, ways to give out weapons. This will play good with that new uh, red yellow they just gave that basically, once it dies, it goes all the way out. Uh, Dark Cancel. Draw a card, we roll this die instead of removing it from the pool. Not bad, it's got two blanks, but at least you got rotations on it. You could do some funky stuff with that. Cross Guard Lightsaber. I don't know what's the difference between that and Kylo's. After, uh, after you play this upgrade on Kylo Ren, deal one damage to a character. 
So just by putting it on Kylo. So it's kind of funny. That's why these are meant for like the this two player game because they're basically saying you know you're putting it on them, but. These are legal for the actual game, and we can actually use them for that. Um, so you deal two damage as a special to a character, or three instead if that character has one or more shields. So um, pretty good if you have that special out there. Um, it can't really team up with the Vibro Knack, but at least, you know, hey, it's good. Four status. Ooh, we got a Darth Maul pitcher. Oh, time. Blue character only remove a die showing range damage. Um, then deal one damage to a character. So that's not bad. It's about two. Uh, I don't know if you can see the side. It's not bad. You got two specials. Two costs. Not bad. Jedi Rival. After you activate an attached character, you may remove a shield from a character. Well, that's not bad. Shields I haven't been too thrilled with lately, but I love Dark Maul's on it. I haven't been too thrilled with it lately just because of the fact that um, Viral Blade just makes it feel null. But they're always around it. Armor Support. This is a one cost support. Exhausted Support to reroll one of your red dice. If that dice rolls damage, uh, range or melee, deal one damage to a character. That's awesome. One cost. Easy to get out. Uh, you're going to be able to use this with... Ooh, no, it's not a vehicle. I was thinking it's a vehicle because picture so you use it with uh, 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 Finn. All right, now we're down to, and it, well, we got a good handful. There's still going to be some double cards, looks like, in here. Um, like we have Intimidate in here, which, you know, we've had this, we've seen it a million times. Uh, Doubt's in here, so that's something that we'll see a million times. Perry, that's in uh, stuff. We get a new base. Um, okay, so we got logistics is in here. So another one we've seen before. Uh, strategic planning, defensive shields, uh, old school stuff, and then we're gonna have. Um, oh, we got one with Ewok on it. Uh, evade and flank that are for the heroes that are um, that we've all seen before. So that's about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight as I can see right now that we already have. Um, so let's go into these. Oh, actually, strategic mastery. I knew I was missing one of the villains. Okay, so we'll look at clash. It costs one, turn one of your dice to a side, showing melee damage, turn an opponent's die, show melee damage to a blank. So you just get to reverse that. That's pretty cool. Uh, cost one, not bad. It's kind of situational. Zero, your skills are complete. Turn any upgrade die to a side showing a blank. That's really cool. Zero cost. I think that's a must have in a Palpatine deck. Zero cost, I like it. And these are villains. Uh, number two is just an event, remove a die. So I mean, paying two just to get rid of a die. Almost like a flank in a way, but uh, flank is, you know, exhaust. Uh, based on your exhausted characters, and you have Electroshock, that's two. This one just removes a die. First strike, deal damage to a character equal to the value of an opponent's die showing damage. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you just play this and say, you know what? Mace, you have a four showing. We're going to be four damage. Cost two. Uh, I have you now. It's Darth Vader, really cool picture. I think I've seen this picture many times. Turn a die to a side showing damage. So just for a cost of one. You get to turn um, a die to damage. Number two, Imperial Envoy. I said number two. It costs two. Imperial Envoy. Uh, reveal two random cards in the opponent's hand. Then deal one damage to a character for each event and support just revealed. Reveal two random cards in the opponent's hand. Then deal one damage to a character for each event and support just revealed. Okay. So I guess up to two damage if you can get event and support. Ooh, this costs three just to get four monies. That's a villain, so it's interesting. I wonder how you would uh, play that. And then we got, um, this is cool, zero so far. I don't know, I haven't read it yet, but I know it's, it's zero. It's uh, an ambush. We're watching old school wrestling right now, by the way, with your Undertaker and Paul Bear. Uh, as Logan calls it, old school. Uh, as is for Steam. So I saw zero and ambush. Blue villain made me kind of excited. Ambush. You may take an additional uh, action after you play this card. Look at each at each opponent's hand. I like that. 
This is zero cost. You get to do something afterwards. Uh, this is great with Dooku, but this is something I really am like. I played Dooku Plot since it came out just because I liked ditching everything on to Count Dooku, but that is awesome. So that is the villains. We have a base. I think, are they only giving us one base? There should be one more base, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have Obi Wan's Hut. Give a blue character one shield or spend one resource to give a non blue character a shield. I feel like that's something I will never use. I don't think it's good. Hangar Bay. A bad word? Not a bad, bad word, just not that good. A bad word. Uh, reveal the top card of an opponent's deck. If that card is an event or support, do one damage to a character. That's kind of interesting. Not bad. So, let's see. No, not yet, but we have to fix that. Let's look at Ray. So, definitely different Ray. Better, better uh, numbers, looks like. After you activate this character, if she has a uh, fly by me, if she has one or more shields, you may deal one damage to a character. Interesting. That's going to help out uh, if you want to do a ray. Uh, I'm covering up all that. A ray um, Qui Gon deck, I guess. But at the same time, what makes Ray good in that Qui Gon deck is because it's Ray. Poe! More than a pilot. Give a character one shield, you may turn another die to any side. So that's a period after one shield. So it looks like if you get the special, turn die to any side. Not bad. Points are 11 and 15. So you can do a lot more building with that. That's actually really cool. Um, and suppose we're getting a Rata with uh, Poe and Nines next month or so, I think. So we'll see um, how which one's better. We know which one's better right now. Uh, medical Joy. Really cool. Heal one damage from a character. And by the way, with this, I really hope, let's hope, magic trick, that there's something in there to help with uh, my my blue, yellow mill deck I have. It's pretty good. I do pretty good with it competitively. I can mill you out pretty quick, but there are still a few adjustments. And, you know, certain decks, of course, will beat it. Uh, it depends. I mean, some days I get better draws, but I need more blue or yellow um, mill. And, of course, you know, Tatum is a factor in that. Uh, support Droid. Heal one damage from a character. That's a special. You got two blanks. Cost one. That's pretty cool just to have out there. Um, strike Team. Cost three. Looks like Leia's in the front. Ambush. This is awesome. So when we put it out there, it's going to be support. But cost you five. That's kind of crazy. Decrease the cost to play this support, though, by one if an opponent has three or more resources. So screw you, Plutt. Plug guys, you'll like. I, mean, I played Plug a lot too. I played Plug in nine since the first since that set came out. Plug nines was been my team forever. Now I'm trying to move to nines and IG because I get tired of everyone else is now playing Plug nines. But that is good because you you'll stack up like twelve. Teamwork, awesome. RTD two and C three PO. Give attached character a shield. You may give another character one shield. Not bad, but just awesome. Art two costs support. Shawn Michaels and HBK, or Shawn's HBK, HBK and Breath of Him and Harp. Poe Dameron's Blasters. Cool, another gun. Uh, deal two damage to a character or three damage instead if it's attached to Poe. So definitely bonuses if it's Poe. But that means wording wise, this will work and the Phasma's gun will work on their other uh, cards. And we got two, two plus, uh, one uh, disrupt, one money, and then the special. Ray's lightsaber. This got redeploy on it. Uh, after you attach, uh, after you play this upgrade, give attached character one shield or two shields instead if it's on Ray. That's pretty cool because if you play this on regular Ray, that's actually really good. Uh, three costs. Uh, it's redeployed. This basically would for me would take maybe take priority over the, the regular lightsaber. I'm not sure, but with the fact that it's got redeploy, um, I put on the other Ray. We get an extra action, and then she's gonna get shields on her. It's pretty cool. I like that. Inner strength. <clears throat> Move one damage from attached character to an opponent's character with no shields. That's awesome. But it does cost uh, two, and it's a uh, upgrade ability. So whenever we roll that out, you do got two shields on there, money rotation, and then two specials. Um, pretty cool. 
Ooh, new school loop. Place this support on top of your deck from play to give a blue character one shoot. 